um, and they don't survive. So again, another sign of climate change, you know, that uh, we can do something about when you hear about birds like peregrine falcons, bald eagles, osprey that suffered from DDT. Back then, people said these birds are going to be gone. But we did something about it, and that's the same thing with climate change. We can do something about that as well. And, you know, this peregrine falcon is a good news story. This bird isn't extinct now. This bird is no longer endangered. It's no longer going to be a threatened species. It's going to be a species of special concern, and then shortly afterwards, you know, these birds will probably be off the list completely. Um, however, we look at other birds like snowy owls, which were thought to be birds that there was in the vicinity numbers upwards of 300,000 snowy owls, but the researchers that actually study snowy owls met in, at the Blue Hills um, back three years ago, and the researchers that actually do the field work on the nesting sites came up with a population of seven to 8,000. <laughs> 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 These birds are now vulnerable species. <laughs> <laughs> so we left a deposit <laughs> to Hans Photo, one of the most precious birds there is. <laughs> and we can auction that off. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody would probably be <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Why is she leaving her mouth open? Well, birds have no ability to, to, to cool themselves off because if they started to sweat, if feathers would get wet, they wouldn't be able to fly. So she's actually turning on her air conditioning system to actually exchange the inner air and the outer air between her inner and outer skin, which has you know air sacs in there, and that's how she's regulating her body temperature. That's like how birds like snowy owls can stay here year round. We have three snowy owls that are still in.